Assalamualaikum. My name is Muhammad Razi bin Abdul Rashid. I am from Group of C12. My lecturer is Dr. Hajar Azizah binti Atan Elias Abdul This is my speech. An idle teacher. A teacher is a glorious component of the society. His rank is exalted in the social hierarchy. In the hierarchy of a relationship, a teacher is the one who is ranked just after our dear most parents. Without any selfish motive, he gives his precious ornament, example knowledge, to his disciples. The teacher is the pivot in the education. He is the one who elevates us from the earth to the heavens. It is the teacher who plays the most authoritative role in the life of the student. His consequence on the student's life is generally eminent. The student is an uncut stone. The stone has to be chiseled a number of times by the teacher by using different types of tools. The teacher has to take every pupil as an, an uneducated, uneducated individual. It is the teacher who can search, search the standard of education to the Himalayan height. The role of a teacher in building a strong nation is a very great. A nation upheaval depends on the teachers who are dedicated ones. A teacher may be an agriculturist, a doctor, an environmentalist, a builder, a sculptor, all assembled in a single person. The word ideal, according to the dictionary, means something which is perfect or model of excellence. So, in the words of Confucius, the ideal teacher guides his students but does not pull them along. He urges them to go forward and does not suppress them. He opens the way but does not take them to the place. The teachers, as we recognize, are plentiful but ideal teachers are, the, are rare of the rarest. Everybody can be a teacher, but an ideal teacher is one in a million. An ideal teacher can make a lot of great students. It is an acknowledged fact that an ideal education cannot be imparted in absence of an ideal teacher. Ideal teachers are therefore the dire need of every society. In fact, ideal teachers are the backbone of any progressive scheme of national education. A teacher should possess some sublime traits which will make him ideal. An ideal teacher sows the seed of knowledge in the mind of the top. The fertilizer is the unborn experience he acquires over a period of time. It is but natural that pupils trained by an experienced teacher who will become a precious asset to the state in general. General, sorry. Like a doctor, the teachers treat the illness of ignorance. The people's illness is ignorance. The ignorance is darkness in the mind. The darkness has to be taken out by imparting knowledge. Knowledge is light. It drives away ignorance from the mind of the people. The sun obliterates darkness in the night. Likewise, knowledge wipes out darkness of the mind. An ideal teacher is like a such light who removes darkness completely from the mind of the people. He should help the people in developing an all-around personality. To become, to become an ideal teacher, academic attainments are not the only requirement. Leonor Roosevelt aptly perceived, I have no many erudite and scholarly men and women who were the small failures as a teacher. I have known some learned teacher who had the gift of inspiring youth and setting them on high where perhaps they themselves were unable to follow. The unique and the former traits of an idol teacher are the total dedication on her part in the field of education. The teachers to the relationship must be established in a harm, harmonious way and teachers must create conducive atmosphere for imparting the best education to the student and students also in turn will show great enthusiasm in learning their day to les today lessons. An idol should pay respect to the student's perception and the teacher should work with such 
a way the he, that he gains respect. On the other hand, to enhance the intelligent question, question in the mind of children, the teacher must introduce all novel methods. The ideal teacher must get acquainted, acquainted with all the students in the class and must try his or her level best to pay individual attention to her students so that all of them fare well in the class. The teacher plays a very vital role in molding the character of every child in general. Since more of the time, the children are with the teacher apart from being at home other than the school hour. This feature, this feature can be best explained with the help of the following quotation. If wealth is lost, nothing is lost. If health is lost, something is lost. If character is lost, everything is lost. Okay, that's all.